Fall is here, and you know what that means. Winter is just around the corner. And if the thought of winter coats, boots, snow, and ice is just too much to bear, well, we've got a solution for you. It is called summer chasing, otherwise known as the endless summer. And we have seven phenomenal destinations you may not have thought of to choose from to chase the warmth. To help us walk through them, we have Kate Maxwell, editor-in-chief of Jet Setter, and Courtney Scott, senior editor at Travelocity. People often think of chasing summer in the context of the Caribbean and Hawaii. It's hard to get your fill of the Caribbean or Hawaii, but if people are looking for a little more adventure, you guys have come up with a great list. Let's start with Thailand. Now, this is some place people might think, wow, I could never go there. You love this. We love it, and, and our members at Jetsessa love it too. Uh, Thailand recently surpassed Italy as our number one requested destination from our uh, personal travel planning service. Um, I, I really recommend having a couple of nights in Bangkok. Um, you're going to have to fly there anyway. It's a really exciting, buzzy city, wonderful temples, great seafood. The place I recommend staying there is the Banyan Tree. It's a 61-storey hotel with fantastic views and a really great bar. Um, and then uh, you've good got... Good bar is key. Good bar, very <laughs> important. Um, you can't go to Thailand without spending some time on an island. Uh, Koh Samui is one of my favourites. The Six Senses there is a stunningly beautiful hotel with everything from an infinity pool to a fantastic spa, really good restaurants. So Sounds great. Check that one out. You have picked Cartagena, Colombia as a destination. Now, we were talking in the office, some people have been there. They love it. What do you like about it? Well, first of all, it's an UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's got that Latin sexy flair that we love combined with this beautiful historical um, walled city. So I recommend staying at the Bantu Boutique Hotel. It's a $1,686 vacation package, seven night flight and hotel on Travelocity.com. It's got that open airy colonial style, totally chic and really sexy at the same time. And not too hard to get to. Oh no, direct flights um, from to Bogota and then a yep. quick hop over to Cartagena. And oh, really? Jet, Jet Blue, I think, is, is just starting direct yep. flights in November, so I think everyone from our office is just going to be gone. I know, so Jet Blue, the then you know everybody's going when Jet Blue starts. Right. A little harder to get to, I actually just got back from there myself last week. Um, Africa, South yes. Africa on safari, you picked this one. Why do you like that? I can tell you why I like it. I, lo <laughs> I loved it, but... It, I, I think South Africa is the perfect African country to go to if you haven't been to Africa before, um, because you can combine all sorts of different things. You should spend a few days in Cape Town. More one of the most beautiful cities in the world with wonderful beaches and Table Mountain and then go up uh, to the Winelands uh, where the Steenberg Hotel is, is my pick. Um, they make their own wine there so you can have that, right. some of that and go on a wine tour as well and then of course you can't go to South Africa without going on safari and we really like the Vuani Lodge. Um, it works out at about $450 a night which sounds a lot of money but actually that includes game drives and includes three meals a day so compared to a lot of other safari options it's actually not too bad. People have to be mindful of the tipping when you go to South Africa because Tipping's nice. a big part of the culture. Mm -hmm. I found that four days on safari was enough to see basically all of the animals I could have dreamed of. My first night I saw lions mating. I think we're going to show that video later. I don't, wow. Is that allowed? I don't know. But, but uh, do you feel that way? Four nights on safari is pretty, pretty good? Yeah, absolutely. And October is actually a really good time to see animals. It's the springtime right. and it's uh, lots of game there. Okay, Spain now, you all, you pick Spain, where in Spain? Well, a lot of Europe is actually cooling off temperature-wise, but uh, Palma de Mallorca, one of the Balearic Islands in Spain, is nice and warm through November, and uh, the AC Suidat Hotel, right in the city center, it's a 1,331 vacation package, seven night flight and hotel. One of the best ways to see the island is by boat. Rent a charter for the day, it's through about $350, and you'll see all of the beautiful hidden beaches and coves um, of the island. And you have, have you both seen people still going to Spain despite all the, everything we hear in the news about the economic problems there? Uh, yes, and the same with Greece actually, yeah, particularly, okay. yeah. Now, uh, another place where you can see a lot of animals, the Galapagos, what do you like about right. that? Right, I mean the ultimate sort of wildlife vacation. Um, and our, our members really like cruises at Jet Setter, but we're not talking about the sort of city at sea cruise, we're talking about really small cruises of up to 20 people and um, EcoVentura goes to the Galapagos. And this is a sort of seven day uh, package that will you'll see everything from enormous tour tortoises to incredible birds, um, really, really fascinating vacation. And Bora Bora, you picked Bora Bora, tell us about that. Well, I think people think of it as this dream, unattainable uh, vacation, but in November and December, it's actually 
quite reasonable. Uh, it's the cheapest time to fly and to stay. And I recommend uh, staying at the Sofitel Bora Bora Mara Mara Beach. It's a mouthful. It's a private island. You can only get there by boat. Really relax in your hammock all day, sip a cocktail. And the Polynesian uh, culture and hospitality is some of the friendliest in the world. And then before we get to, before we get to our final place, all these places we're mentioning, they're entering a warm season at least. So exactly. you're going to be warm. You yes. will be chasing right. summer into there. Absolutely. You both agreed on one place very near and dear to my heart. I went through on my honeymoon, Australia. Oh. Uh, now let's hear where you, you would send folks. Right, so again, Australia, if you're gonna fly for 24 hours, you might as well <laughs> spend uh, a little while there. Um, we have uh, a jet setter journey uh, called Enchanted Australia that is uh, 11 days. Um, so I would definitely recommend trying that. It includes places like Sydney, of course. You've got to spend a few days in Sydney. Uh, you know, check out the Opera House, check out the bridge. Um, the br climb the bridge. Uh, climb the bridge right. if, you're, if you're bold enough, yep. Um, and then the Barrier Reef, um, it includes a stay uh, on Hamilton Island, which is, you know, your absolutely kind of quintessential, beautiful white beach barrier island. Uh, Got to do some snorkeling or some scuba diving there. Um, and then going into the Greater Blue Mountains, um, which is you know, stunning scenery. I don't know if you went there, but, but we have a fantastic um, resort there as well. So you hit the high, you went that, you were, you were you on my honeymoon? I think you were. <laughs> now, where, where, where do you have folks going? Well, I, I love Cons. It's in Queensland, also as the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. And it's just a quintessential city with everything to do Australian style. So you've got bungee jumping right there, 164 foot drop. I've done it. I don't know if I would do it again, but definitely <laughs> once in a lifetime thing to do. Uh, you've got a solar eclipse actually happening in Cairns on November 14th. So as dawn breaks, the city's going to go dark. It's really a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience. So if you're there at that time, check that out. And uh, the Shangri-La property right on the marina, it's a $2,570 vacation package, flight and hotel seven nights. That is a steal to get all the way on the other side of the world. And if you can stay even longer, you could probably get over to Melbourne, which people say is amazing and a very cosmopolitan city. Absolutely. You gotta, you gotta theater, have time to fantastic that. food. I love Melbourne. All right, before I let you go, quick, your favorite pick. What's your favorite pick? Bora Bora. Bora Bora, dream destination. Okay. I think South Africa. All right. Yeah. Well, then I went to the right place, according <laughs> you to did, you. you did. All right, Kate, Courtney, thanks, guys, so much. Nice.